Before you arrive at commencement, these are some things you need to know. Like, what do I wear? How do I put on the cap, gown, and hood? And what should I bring? Before we get started, what is commencement? It's a formal ceremony held each May to recognize and honor graduates of the university. The ceremony is one of the most significant events for students and for the entire university community. There are three ceremonies. One ceremony on Thursday for graduate and doctoral students, and two on Saturday for undergraduate students. All graduates are expected to wear the appropriate academic dress. That includes the cap and gown. And if you're earning a bachelor's or graduate level degree, you'll also be wearing an academic hood. And this is your full academic attire. That's right, this is your cap, tassel, hood, and gown. And don't worry, when you arrive, someone will be there to help you. When you pick up your gown, you want to make sure you place it on a hanger. You definitely want to avoid ironing it. But if you do want to get some of those wrinkles out, you could just tumble dry it for a few minutes. Under the graduation gown, guys generally wear slacks, button-down shirt, and a tie. Or they wear suits. Yep, and girls also wear dresses, blouses, and skirts. You can, you can even wear comfortable shoes, though. But guys, that does not mean wear sneakers. When you arrive at commencement, there will be staff there to help guide you throughout the building. For arrival times, where to enter the building and other important information, check the commencement website. Since there's no graduation rehearsal, you definitely want to go visit www.jwu.edu slash commencement for more information and details. Once inside the building, commencement staff will guide you to pick up your name card. You will need that to cross the stage of graduation. Once you have your name card, you are all set to go line up with your friends and graduate. Your coats, valuables, and other personal belongings friends and family. You will not be able to store your belongings during the ceremony. Make sure you use the restroom before graduation starts because once it starts you can't get up from your seat. It's okay to use your cell phone, just make sure it's on silent. And if you want to text family and friends, you're more than welcome to. Make sure that they know where you're sitting. Remember, have fun, enjoy the moment, and congratulations Wildcats. See you there.